welcome to textology in this video i will show how i got 307 temporary redirect with castro server and how i managed to solve this 307 temporary redirect was thrown by from the castro server for me when i was trying to deploy the asp.net core application in linux operating system due to this my web application was not working with the help of .NET CLI command, I could run my web application in Linux server and I could see my application started running and it was listening on ports 5000 and 5001. The port 5000 was for HTTP calls and 5001 for HTTPS calls. I tried to open the application with the help of curl command. Then I got message saying HTTP slash 1.1 307 temporary redirect and it was from the castro server if we observe the message we could make out that http calls are being redirected to https localhost 5001 so all the http calls are redirecting to https url due to this my web application was not working as expected because i was not ready for https deployment yet just wanted to test my application with the help of HTTP first, then I could set it up with HTTPS later. To prevent this automatic redirection from HTTP to HTTPS, I had to go back to source code and need to remove the automatic redirection. In my case, I could go to program.cs file and remove the middleware code app.use HTTPS redirection. Once I removed the redirection code, I published the code for the deployment again. In case of .NET 5 and older version of .NET Core, this middleware will be present in the startup.cs file. Once I deployed the new code again, I tried to run application using the .NET CLI command to run the application. Then I got the same message as the application running on ports 5000 and 5001. The port 5000 for HTTP and port 5001 for HTTPS. But this time when I run the localhost 5000 with the help of curl command, I could see the HTML file of my application. That means my application running with the Castro server. If the user wants to test the application after deployment uh, with the help of HTTP, the user can remove the automatic redirection middleware. Otherwise, the user has to set up the HTTPS with the SSL certificate. In my case, I just wanted to test my application, so HTTP was enough. 